Artemis. Hope you guys enjoy the video. This has to be one of the best games I've played in a long time, apart from the fact that the controls are a little clunky, which is annoying, but, um, um, it's, is a great game in terms of its concept, I find. Um, there's just so many things conceptually that you don't normally find in, um, in games such as this. For example, the, um, the way that the FBI guy investigates crimes, the way he collects, um, um, the way he collects his clues and things like that. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Let me take your coat. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous, and I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're 
partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? Big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Kramer, you stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. Says I should go up. If I shove that wall down your throat, beat it. I ain't for sale. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way.
<laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. <laughs> 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 